Hello and welcome to Creating Cards with Alexandra. I'm Alexandra, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today we're going to make a sweet card using the Sketched Butterflies Bundle. This is a sweet little bundle that includes some great dies to cut out all those little butterflies. So let's go ahead and get started. So I will be using, this is our um, in color paper pack. This is a six by six paper pack and it comes with all of the, in, the new in colors for the next two years. And then this also comes in all of the other color families, the same pattern, but the other color families. You can find this in the catalog on page 98 here. And you can get it in the subtles, brights, regals, the in colors from last year and the in colors from this year. Okay. All right, so get, to get started, I have those, um, that in color in the bubble bath, or I'm sorry, the pretty in pink. So I took this pattern here and I cut it down to two and three fourths. And I took, I have two of those, I have the um, opposite side. And then I took a piece of smoky slate. I have two pieces of this. This is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. So we'll just go ahead and adhere those down to that smoky slate square. I love pink and gray together. I think that's my favorite color combination. So there we go. And then I have a piece of the pretty in pink. This is our eight and a half by five and a half scored in the middle there. And then I have this, this butterfly stamp set here. It's the four butterflies on here. And at first I stamped the background in the pretty in pink, so it was the tone on tone, but it was just a little too stark for me. So I'm just gonna use the Versamark, which is a watermark stamping pad. And it will just, it'll put the, that image on the cardstock, but in a very subtle way. So I'll just kind of randomly put that over the cardstock. And I'm not worried about the middle just because that's gonna be covered up by our squares. Okay, very subtle on there. And then we'll go ahead and adhere these down. I'm gonna start with the striped pattern. And I'm going to kind of put these offset. Okay, and then I did take the butterfly and stamped it on a piece of basic white in the smoky slate and then I did cut it out with the um the dies that coordinate with this and you know what before I stick that down I'm going to put my sentiment on there which is wishing you a beautiful birthday so let me get a scrap of white and I will stamp that in the basic gray. And then 
I'm going to take my Pretty in Pink and I'm going to take this butterfly and I'm going to stamp off and then put it over the sentiment. And let me go ahead and cut that out. And then put this at an angle. All right, so then we will go ahead and adhere that down. And this is about maybe where I want it there. So then we'll take our backings off. That at an angle. Okay, and then I have these um, opal rounds. Now these are unavailable right now until I believe July 1st, and then they will be back in stock. And then I'll put a few of these on here. Maybe right there. Get a smaller one right there, and a large one right there. And then for the inside, I just took a piece of basic white, and I cut a strip of the DSP, and then the cardstock as well, and then I flagged the end and just adhered that on there. I usually put the DSP down here at the bottom and I thought I wanted to try something a little different. And there we go, very simple. And you could do this in all of the colors of that DSP. The petunia pop would be very pretty. And then the um, shy shamrock would be pretty as well. But of course you can do any of the colors so there we go that is our project today super easy and simple and you can knock out a bunch of these in no time so thank you so much for sharing your time with me i appreciate you watching my tutorials and i would appreciate your business i will link all of the items used today in the description below which will shoot you straight over to my shopping page and I would appreciate your business. If you enjoyed this video, please give me the thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel for future videos. And you can also hop on over to my Facebook page where I post um, different things on there as well. So thank you again so much and have a joyful day. Bye-bye.